Hello there and welcome to the new video where I am discussing the complete data analyst roadmap for 2021. So this video has been asked by so many people uh, based on what I published previously on the comments like how do we really start, what do we need to do and um, things that I need to take care of, mostly from the timeline perspective that I want to basically do to become a data analyst. Now this is where I want to give you some very very practical advice. I will show you one book which even I refer. This book is with me from past almost 12 or 13 years time when I actually started very seriously on the data analysis and even today I refer it whenever I find any issue or I want to look a little bit in depth into any technology. So this book is around 12, 13 years old but I'll give you the link in the description so that you can get the new version of this book. This book is amazing by the way. So what I am first of all want to talk, talk about before giving you the roadmap, roadmap is present only in three steps which I will show you in a minute. Before that, I want to give you some perspective on the data analyst so that when you will see the roadmap, you will be able to understand why I am saying this. Okay, so data analyst is someone who is analyzing data, right? That's the core of this thing. But usually what happens in an organization, suppose if you are if you have never done any analysis, you are already in a company but never done the data analysis or you are a complete fresher who have never been into any company and wants to become a data analyst and wondering what should I do or what really happens. So the overall cycle of the data analysis is like this that you have a problem from let's say the management or a requirement from the management that yes you want to analyze. Let's say you want to analyze about the declining product trend. You want to analyze a change. You want to analyze an uptrend. It can be anything right. Now first thing is you analyze something. You report it back your findings right. And when you report it back you report it either in the form of let's say a spreadsheet or a presentation or something around those lines. So what happens is once your analysis is accepted, it becomes a regular activity and you need to basically do it on a regular cadence. It can be weekly, monthly, quarterly, even daily, who knows, right? And because once it is approved and it becomes a daily cadence, you know, you cannot really go through all the different manual steps and everything. So you try to automate that stuff. So that's why this profile becomes a little bit tricky where you not just analyze the data, I mean you, you are not just responsible for analyzing the data but you are also responsible for if, if this, this is accepted and it's a regular activity then automate this and present it so that you can take up new activity. That's like a very very regular or a normal scenario in any company you will see what really happens. Analyze, present, accept it then analyze, uh, automate and present it. That's it. These are the three steps. Based on that, these three steps, I'm sharing you what I uh, what I'm referring as the core of this thing, the core of data analysis, which you follow along with the time period. OK, so I will tell you in each activity how much time you need to spend daily. And finally, I will tell you uh, the total duration, the minimum duration you need to follow uh, based on a complete beginner perspective. OK, so with that, let's move on and First thing is you need to learn about the data and data analysis techniques for which you need to spend two hours daily. Okay. And for this, what I want to share with you is my this book. I hope you can see this. This is the uh, statistics for managers. This book is such an amazing one where at the start of this book, you have a case study which they are referring in the entire chapter. They are slowly advancing step by step as to what are the steps and strategies you will move on when you are looking at more advanced question. And finally, they have lot many ex uh, lot many exercises which one should do or I have actually done to really get a good grasp on the data and the data analysis technique. So this book, as you can see, it's it's quite a thick book. And uh, initially for me, it took me somewhere around close to three to four months to completely go chapter by chapter. And I actually spent 
टू टू थ्री आवर्स ऑन अ डेली बेसिस इन द इवनिंग वंस ऑल ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ माई एक्टिविटीज आर डन एंड आई एम हैविंग फ्री टाइम फ्रॉम माई जॉब आई यूज टू आई यूज टू जस्ट स्पेंड टू टू थ्री आवर्स एंड दिस बुक हैज़ रियली हेल्प मी विद द डेटा एनालिसिस एंड टेक्निक्स सो इट हैज़ द Uh, right from the start it has the um, uh, the uh, the information about what really the statistics is what really the data is the different types of data how do you treat those different types of data then starts with the basic principles like mean median mode the averages and then uh, the variances like standard deviation variance and things like those then it slowly moves on to the hypothesis testing the probability and then move it on further to anova and those techniques and then uh, then it goes on the regression the time series forecasting and things like those so it has a lot of material which usually if you go in any academic sort of a setting it will going to at least take one year but if you want to if you can fast track by dedicating like 2 to 3 hours then i think you can really really get a good grasp within Uh, within let's say three three months or four months to to basically um, basically have a complete understanding of what really happens with data and data analysis technique or the things you need to take care for data and data analysis techniques which I am referring it over here. So that's my first recommendation based on my own experience and I've shown you this book is with me from past twelve or thirteen years. Uh, the next thing I have is the uh, data visualization. in this book they have covered the basics of data visualization like how once you understand what is data its types and everything like whether it is a categorical data or it's a numerical and even in that you have different types then how do you really present the data so it has some basic examples but what i recommend is if you are complete beginner you have no understanding of any such so first is you you spend like on data analysis for at least one month after that you start with the data visualization tool which is you can either start in excel if you are familiar with if you want to go little bit if you want to step up your game little bit then do the data visualization within tableau that's like very simple tool you can take it you can download it for free there is this tableau public which you can download it for free and then at least spend 1 hour what will you do in one hour you will going to repeat the same thing what you have done in the first month of data analysis that's what you will going to repeat it so what will going to happen well in that case first of all you will be revising whatever you have done and producing it in the data visualization so that's like uh, with just one activity you are actually doing two activities and solidifying your complete understanding of data analysis so that's my recommendation first one month spend on this then start with the either with the excel or with the tableau my recommendation start with the tableau do a bit bit of a basic understanding from the videos i have published and you should have everything you need to know or you you should know to uh, to basically visualize whatever you have learned in one month so far so keep on doing that thing whatever you are learning over here in this book which i have showed you is in the spreadsheet after doing that do it in the do it over here and see how you can visualize the data so that's an activity you need to do one hour at least daily if you really want to you know get a good grasp on that now let's move on to the third and last thing after that i will show you the duration overall duration that you will going to take or one should take to complete all of these three activities then the third activity is basically the programming well you cannot escape from it if you are planning to have an entry level job into the uh, into the into the field of data analyst so my recommendation in case of programming simply simply go with python pandas just one thing learn it that's it i would not say in python you have python numpy you have python uh, matplotlib as a visualization library and so so many libraries but whenever the data processing will come into the picture you will have to use the pandas as a library and it has all the functionality of numpy most of the functionality if not all because uh, the pandas is based on numpy if you are not sure about all those technical jargons that i'm using or these libraries that i'm using don't worry but remember python pandas if something that you need to learn to basically 
practice this so what will you going to do again whatever you are learning over here after that i would say the one first month do this after one month is completed whatever you are doing is repeating over here in the second month right and then in the third month you start again repeating entire thing which you have done in the first two months over here in the programming try to automate that stuff try to write a code to achieve the same thing what you have already achieved in spreadsheet you have already achieved in data visualization now you are achieving the same thing with the pandas and think about that if you are doing a practice side by side for all of those techniques and repeating the stuff you will have entire understanding trust me you will have entire understanding of all these techniques which is written in this book so it's basically again one hour which i am recommending nothing more so first complete this practice this and practice in this so it's all in all four hour is only what you need to spend don't spend anything less or more than this what i see uh, or i know at least and my recommendation is have a break i mean if possible start with the data analysis in the morning then do the practice of data visualization in the i don't know evening and then maybe evening after taking some break do the programming because these are like some creative parts data visualization and programming so you will not feel like uh, sleepy or something but if you will do the data analysis in the evening like i did back in the day i i know that whenever i used to pick up the book i i started feeling bit of a sleepy and and it's like bit of a uh fighting between no i have to do this i need to get a better job and complete this so somehow i did it but i know this is a normal human tendency so in morning you are all fresh take your good tea and breakfast and start with this for 2 hours and what i really want to recommend you is uh this phrase from one of the amazing book i have read eat the frog so eat the frog is basically uh, is one of the phrase i think it's a book name itself uh, it's it's by one of the very famous author i can't really recall the name but uh, he has published many many imp- self improvement book and what what does that mean basically remove every obstacle that you are having or you have to achieve your target what is your target to become a data analyst and you need to learn the data analysis for this so to achieve that don't keep your phone with you don't keep your laptop with you don't keep anything which is bothering you put yourself in one room for 2 hours at for uh, for a specific period which i'll show you and you will see that you are a completely different person after 3 or 4 months so that's something a uh, very very powerful technique i have personally utilized for myself earlier i used to be very very irregular on publishing the video i never used to do these kind of videos uh, but then i started feeling okay when these type of questions are coming and i am not finding a time what should i really do then i made some time in the morning for myself for one hour i am like inside doing a research for you so that i can come up with some good content or something you know meaningful for those who are an aspiring uh, data analyst data scientist data engineer and things like those because that has been my field so that's something i have practically followed for one hour daily and trust me my productivity has increased like anything today it's like it has become a ritual morning i wake up do my uh, evening uh, morning tea and breakfast and i'm inside my uh, small study room where i work as well during this work from home practice so it's an amazing thing eat the frog means just remove every obstacle on that uh, the very one important activity which probably you are postponing do that very first thing in the morning and you are done for entire day so that's something i want to give you as a recommendation finally what i want to show you is 3 to 5 months depending on how quickly or uh, how much time you are taking to grasp a concept around that 3 to 5 months is the time you should usually take it can be i mean this is not anything strict but it can be anywhere 3 to 6 months if if you are like super super smart and even dedicating more time and having a complete focus study i don't know even it can be 2 months who knows right but looking at whatever i am talking about it and you don't have any experience this time frame looks to me for most of you out there who wants to become the data analyst so guys trust me this advice or this thing i have practically done this i am pretty sure you can do it 
and you can basically become someone who is an expert level data scientist when i say expert level from an in, uh, from an introductory or associate data analyst or introductory position you can be an expert who is having an amazing understanding of those critical concept which even many experienced data analyst for example nobody uh, i mean i have see, i have asked uh, many data analysts like why do you use chi square test can you give me any two examples right or what is the difference between the uh, between the t test and z test and things like those right so all of this thing you you will be able to cover you will be able to do the experience, uh, experience experience it in this book practice in the data visualization and then in the programming i am pretty sure since i have done this you will have everything with you to become a data analyst so let me know how how did you find this entire advice in the in the comments and if you have any other question i'll be happy to look into it so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic